Hello everyone, today I want to do a multi-body simulation of the front suspens suspension in embezim. CID from front suspension, lower and upper wishbone, knuckle, damper and tire. I export all parts to WRL file. Here are exported parts. For a better overview, I have CRD data from front suspension in table. Here you can see center of mass and mo moment of inertia and mass from CRD. And uh, for joints and constraint, it is very important frame coordinates. Here I copy it down from CRD. It is important to remember global is from 0, 0, 0 point, it is x, y, y on z, and local is local part coordinate from frame C. I move this image with CID data to second monitor so that I can later enter the data directly into Embezim. Okay, we start new project in Embezim. In first step, I change acceleration of gravity to minus z direction. After this, I need a frame of center of mass for my first body. Frame I is global, 0, 0, 0 point. Create frame for upper wishbone. With relative position of center of mass from CID, X minus 309, Y zero and Z is 263. Okay. Millimeter is my unit. Change to millimeter. Now you can see two frames. And I create first body, upper wishbone. Mass 7.3 kilo and inertia tensor I copy from CRD data. Frame of reference is frame for center of mass for visualization inventor body. Scale it to millimeter. OK, you can see upper wishbone. The problem is frame C from CID is not the point of center of mass. It is only construction point. So I need to move my geometry visualization. No frame C from upper wishbone is positioned to center of mass. You can see frame C is local part frame has same position as global center of mass. Next, I need two frames for letter joints, cylindrical and spherical joints to knuckle. Um, I make my part free in all directions x, y, z and rotation about x, y, z is also free. The parts are only held with joints. For cylindrical joint, we need a global frame. Cylindrical, cylindrical upper wishbone. With global position from CID. Of course, in millimeter. Here is it. After that, 
I create local frame from part upper wishbone. with local position from frame C. Later I will connect the two frames with a cylindrical joint. And finally, create frame for spherical joint between upper wishbone and knuckle. Local position from CID data, from frame C. First part is finished. To second part, step one, create global frame for center of mass of lower wishbone. New rigid body, lower wishbone with mass and inertia. Translation and rotation completely free. Define reference frame and translate visualization back. Now as a frame C from lower wishbone is in the same position of center of mass. For lower wishbone we need three frames for three joints. Cylindrical connection to dumper and spherical to knuckle. Create global frame cylindrical. After local frame for cylindrical joints. Later, we connect it with a cylindrical joint, these two frames. Local frame to spherical joint, to knuckle, and frame for damper. I results all frames in model for better visibility. And save my model. In the same way I create parts, knuckle and tire with associated frames. Here you can see body knuckle with upper and lower spherical frame and fixed frame for fixed connection to tire. Now we will create the rod under tire. To next global frame for position of rod. After this new rigid body rod. Kinematic is only possible in Z direction.
here is a rod. For contact definition between tire and rod, we need contours. Contour for rod is the same for as rod. And for contour from tires, I use plane. For teeth, I need a new frame with contact position. It is my frame for contact of tire. Now I create plane control from tire. Ok, it is too big. I change the length from plane. Here you, here you can see road counter and tire counter, which later have a contact definition. Now I have all, all rigid bodies on all frames and can begin to connect my parts with joints, contact and damper. First, I create spring damper. A length of damper from CRD, or you can calculate it from two frames coordinates. Important to use exactly length of damper. Connections between frame for damper global. And frame for damper of lower wishbone. You can defined linear, non-linear or symbolic force function, I leave by linear damper with stiffness 100 and end damping 100. Of course in real damper you have non-linear stiffness and damping plus maybe bump stop for extreme loads. To visualization and plot results of damper, force, velocity and position. And now I create joints between my parts, connect tire with knuckle Fixed joint All direction X, Y, Z and rotation are active. You can define additional stiffness and damping for joint is helpful maybe for cylindrical or spherical bearings. I leave here bilaterally. Nose, no spherical joint at upper bar, connect frame for upper spherical. Spherical joint can only transfer forces, x, y and z. But here I activate moment about z. Because of steering, steering rod, the knuckle cannot rotate about z. In the same way, I define all joints cylindrical and spherical.
Finally, create con contact between road and tire by kinetic. Choose two contours from road and tire. Define interaction with stiffness 500 and damping 100. Normal impact bilateral. And last, we create constraint on road acceleration in Z. Dependent rigid body is road and function time dependent. Tabula x and y, x is time, 2 second. And y is acceleration. Plus minus 2 and maybe minus 4 and plus 6, a pot, pothole load case by drive. Activate plot results for rod, acceleration and position. At solver, change end time to 2 seconds. Save and run simulation. Results animation. Plot results. Here you can see acceleration of road and force for damper. It was for today. See you next time and have fun with multi body simulation. Bye bye.